Well, before the masks go up, I will be doing some prep on them. I'll be adding things to the masts while they are unstepped because it's much easier to do it beforehand than it does is when the masks are in place. Now I have three sources of information that I use in uh, primarily two of them. Again, as in other videos, is this book right here. And since I don't have the dust cover of here, I'll show you this is the second right here. And this is basically what the side of the book, the, the, yeah, the end of the book looks like right here. Now, each of the masks has a um, sling. It looks like this, right? And these are served and they have a small thimble right here and another one here and it is looped around here. And um, I'll be showing how to do those. Those will go on. This portion of it, the lashing will not be done, but this portion will go on the yard. This portion will go on the mast. Let's do this right here. In addition, I put things on for the top mast stays um, and many of the others. In many places like here, for instance, and here, there's a block here. And uh, you select the appropriate size for the rope that's being used. And I will basically strap that to the mast here and here and uh, wherever it needs to be. There are details in this particular book and in this particular book right here that show where those things go. For instance, here, here's the main top mast preventer stay. And it goes through here and it goes down to the deck and it shows how those things are rigged. Well, I'll put these eye bolts in down here where they need to be and I literally go through each one of these pages and where there is something like that that needs to be done I will do it beforehand wherever I can. Um, this book and this book have somewhat different ma rigging styles given this has a certain type these have certain types based on the years. And this one up here is from some plans for the Columbus, which is a, the same class ship as the New York that I am doing. And this shows the main preventer stay and the mainstay and how it is rigged on this particular ship. Now it doesn't mean that every ship was the same, but you gotta start standardizing someplace. So as I go through it, I'll start, like for instance, this, <laughs> these both are strapped to a big eye bolt in the deck, here and here. And I'll make those eye bolts and I'll put them in the deck beforehand. The mizzen mast stay, mainstay, is, is the, pretty much the same. Um, I don't believe it. It's here someplace, but um, okay. On this one, you can see it straps to a, de a heart here, but in later versions, it goes to this is instead of attached to the mast right in front of the bits, it is attached to an eye bolt like the main stay and the main preventer stay. Oh, that's, I think I've got enough right there to work with to show you basically what is going to be done within this next video. Well, here's the first thing I put on. 
the mass. Now, this is the main yard sling. You see that little brass piece will be painted black. And you can see where it's been triple seized here and single seized there, single seized here. Second piece will wrap around the yard right in the middle there and it will be connected to this golden rod that you see the piece of rod and um, all I'm making over here is the foremast one now it's easier to do three seizings off the, the mast than to do three seizings like you see here on the mast. So those three little seizings that you see here, here and here will be done here first. And then I'll show how to measure what I need before I put that little ring on and we'll go from there. Now I'm gonna do the seizing. Okay, set that, move it up to about there. Snug it down, then do a half hitch like this so that that knot doesn't slip. Then five or six rounds here like this, and give it another half hitch. Like that. You give it a drop of super glue, like that. Then you'll do the same about here, and another one about there. Now here I'm gonna show how to find the distance for that little um, brass piece that goes on here. And you thread the engineer line through the hole that you made in your top. This is specifically made for this sling. Now this tripling, if you will, three seasons should run right about there, right? So and this Right here, pull this top right about halfway through the, the, the hounds or right about where the curve is. Put your thumbnail there like that. Pull this through. Right there is where that little brass round is going to go. Yeah. Cut several of those already. And this is going to go right on here, right there, like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's get more light on the subject here. And try to uh, super glue this down. To both sides. Accelerant. The accelerant hardens this a little bit harder than it would normally under normal circumstances. If it were to dry, air dry, for instance. Yeah. We have it in there. You can see here. Any of those players? 
Let me put a squeeze on there. Bring those together. I'm gonna take your helping hands. Like you sit here. Put this in there. And then you do your next seizing right there. I'll come back and show you the final seizing. Yeah, you can see I have this on here. Put it through the hole that you made in your top, like this. And see it here. Pull it taut. Bring this up a little bit. There. So that'll hang about there. Just like that. And then you take the end of your section, and this is seized by the way, or I should say served. Right. It's gonna go through here. Make sure that that's right. Okay, so now I know it goes right about there. Okay, let's start it here. Clamp it down, and you seize it right there. Basically, the sling is done. I think you'll find, if you've done this before, while your mask is in place on the ship, that it's much easier to do it this way with the mask off the ship. The same thing applies to putting the second piece of the sling around here and putting it in place. Once the mask's up, of course, and you have to put it in here. It's just a matter of threading the lanyards back and forth between the two little brass pieces of rod there, hollow rod. And that should do it for making the slings. Uh, I'm gonna show how to make the second part of the sling part that goes on the yard, as you can see, right here, right? Again, it has a little bullseye, if you will, right there. Uh -huh. And you take your stock that you're gonna use, a piece of served line, the appropriate thickness and then double it over right about that long or so. All right, I'm gonna put it, make sure it's long enough. You put it on here like this, wrap around here like this, put it around behind here, like you see here. And that tells me. That's about how, how long that needs to be. That's about right, right like that. Because I put, take in a sling, you see there, put the mast down here. And I have an approximate distance to here to here. 
or where the lanyard goes between the two. Right? So, now, like I showed you before, we'll take a little br section of brass rod, hollow, put it in here, and I'll get that fixed. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how to finish it off. So in this video, I'm going to show how to make the second half of the sling, the part that goes around the mat yard here. You see there, just like that, right there. Little bullseye in there, right? And I'll come back quickly and I'll show you how to get the length of that particular part. Well, you fold over a piece of your served material, double it over like this, right? Push it through here like this. Let's start with about that much. Let's go up here. And I'll turn it around actually. Get it here. Bring it just around here. Right? So, so it loops around there like that. Tighten it down. Right. That's where the bullseye is going to go. Perhaps we'll see. But right now, I, at least I have it wrapped around and I have something to try and go by. <clears throat> you take your, your sling here, you have that on there, and where it comes down. there right gonna put your yard on the or about where it's gonna be right? so that that's about where it's gonna sit on the mast and that distance so that looks pr pretty close the three eighths of an inch or so right there all right i'll come back after i have the bullseye in here and show how i measure it to where I make the splice on here. Okay. Have the eye in there now, right? Just over here, behind the yard. Add right for a step. Wrap it around here. That's this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll double check to make sure that that length is, is right. So that it should be should be fine. Now the splice is going to go about, let me get that over there, right. right about there, right? So. Take my thumbnail and pinch to mark the spot. Right, so I know that's where that spot goes. I'm going to make this. I'll take some super glue and put that on here. And on here, where I know it's going to be about there. Uh, yeah. 
and roll it around and saturate the, the thread of the seizing. And then I'll snip it after it's glued there. Find it right here. Snip this. And this. Right there. Right. Yeah. Right. Clamp this down. Right here like this. You're going to take, you're going to butt these two pieces together just like this. Take some super glue, put some on each end. Like that. And put them together. Yeah. And with that spray. Fingers get stuck to your super glue all the time. <laughs> all right. Now you see, there's just places right there. Right. Clean it up a little bit with your nippers. All right. And I'll. When that gets painted, the color of the shine, it has a slight little bulge and it'll look like a splice that's been tarred to help protect it. And once, it's, once that's here, yeah, this right here, put this around here like this. Get a little awkward sometimes, you know. Things don't always go the way you want them to. All right. Tighten it down like that. Let it move it back. Where it belongs. Around the yard. Uh, okay, I got it back there. All right. So it goes just about there, just like that. And I want to hold that in position right there. And I'll take a little bit of super glue and put that right there in the back end. A little bit. Hang on, I got to get this tip off here. Right here. Right. Yeah. Down there. You touch it up with flat black paint. It takes all the shine away. You know, I still have the other places along the mask that need to be finished. But I didn't do that then, and I won't do this now because there'll be other areas around here where I might have to take away paint to glue something in place. So I won't do that. But now, you see that's done. And that's how the two fit together. As you can see that, right? That's it, right there. Under there, actually, here, this is the angle there. Okay, kind of awkward, but it's about right, right? And later on, when the masks are up, when the yards goes on, show you make that liner. Well, that should do it for this video on making the slings and their secondary parts on the yards.